What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and I'm back with another review. Now, still going through the Walter Hill box set. Got a couple more movies left, about halfway through already, three out of six. And uh, the next movie in the imprint box set is a little movie from 1987, same year as me, 1987, and that's going to be Extreme Prejudice, starring Nick Nolte, and a really good cast I'm going to go over in a second. But before I start my review and give you my thoughts on the movie, if you would, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already, and go ahead and hit the bell icon, that way you get notified every time new reviews drop. If you would also, please consider giving me a thumbs up, helps the video get seen, and leave me a comment if you like this film, if you've never seen this film, what are your thoughts on Extreme Prejudice? So yes, a really good cast in this movie, Nick Nolte in the lead, but you also have Rip Torn, Powers Booth is here as the, the main villain. Uh, you also got William Forsyth. Uh, you got, what's this other guy's name? Clancy Brown is in here. Uh, Michael Ironside. So it's just kind of a who's who of like 80s and 90s uh, actors that are in this movie. And it's pretty much, I guess it's like a modern day Western. It's set in Texas and like pretty much near, almost like a border town. Nick Nolte plays a Texas Ranger. Powers Booth is his old friend. When they were, you know, growing up, they grew up together. He's become a drug kingpin and he lives in Mexico. And uh, he is, uh, basically they want him to bring his friend to justice. And he wants to stop him, you know, from doing drug from selling drugs, but he just won't do it. And so it's that classic kind of clash. As far as all those other actors, they play former military members who are now hired by Powers Booth as like his own private little military. And so this is only my second time seeing this movie. And the first time I watched it, I thought it was pretty good. Um, and this time watching it, I still think it's just pretty good. Honestly, it's not my favorite so far out of this box set. There are a number of parts, even though the movie's only an hour and 45 minutes. I don't know, something about the style of it. There are parts to me that are just like, I just, it, it drags a little bit, even though there's action. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of action. You get a lot of shootouts, machine guns and rifles and, you know, which is cool. And so you do have some, there's some action scenes in here. You get a bank robbery scene that's pretty decent. You get a shootout with Nick Nolte and his, uh, and his cop, who's like his uh, father figure, pretty much. He's played by Rip Torn, uh, where they come on this uh, gas station and there's like a, a guy is trying to get revenge on him. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and then you have the big finale, too. And it's fine. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what it is about this movie. I just think it's fine. I don't think it's like a really great movie. Nick Nolte's performance is good. I mean, he does annoy me a little bit at certain parts, especially with the girl, like with his girlfriend. I don't know why, but like just the, she just, she'll be like, oh, we need to talk about this. He's like, I don't want to talk. I never want to talk. Um, the whole dynamic with them is she used to date the bad guy and now she's dating him. And I don't know, because of that, he's like kind of weird about it. So their, their dynamics a little annoying. And I wish there was more between him and Powers Boots character. Uh, what's his name? His name is Cash Bailey. He's the bad guy. Cash Bailey. They they have a scene early, like in the first act where they meet and they meet up. He's like, hey, you got to stop what you're doing. Or I'm going to have to come get you. And then they don't really interact again until like later in the third act. And I just wish that there was a more between them. You spend more time, honestly, with the six military guys, like the former military guys. But ultimately, they're not like the main the main villains of the movie. Cash Bailey is the main villain of the movie. So that kind of dynamic, it didn't, I don't love it. I don't love it, honestly. And, and and the actors are good. Honestly, I wish they would have maybe cast like lesser known people and gave them less screen time and they just kind of the henchmen. Uh, and Cash Bailey is, you know, they show more of his mastermind than they, than they ultimately do. So I don't know. I think that that element is just okay. The action is solid. As far as this box set goes, like I thought the long riders, while slow and at times a little boring, the finale is so good and it's shot so well. I thought the driver, like very unique, very stylish. This movie to me, it's not very stylish. It's pretty basic. Uh, it's like a basic macho action guy movie. And those are not always my favorite. It is very 80s. It's very regular. So with that being said, I don't know, my score... For this one, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I still think it's good. You know, for me, anything 6 or higher, it's worth a watch. You may like it more. So far, my, maybe my least out of these four movies that I've watched so far, I even like that Charles Bronson movie better because it was a little more unique. This is pretty straightforward. It's okay. 
it's not it's not horrible. It's just OK. So uh, that's my my thoughts on extreme prejudice. Uh, next up in this box set is going to be another first time watch. And that's a movie called Johnny Handsome, which I've never seen. So with that title, I'm hoping it's a little bit more of Walter Hill's stylish type of efforts. And maybe it'll be a little bit more unique than this movie. We'll see. Until then, take it easy.